Hello, today I will be showing you how I installed this controller on the bike that I repaired recently. The bike that we repaired only could move forward and we ordered this controller to make this bike move backwards and also with this controller we will add another functionality which would allow us to control the speed with this thing here. Before I start installing this controller in the bike I need to check if it works correctly. So I have my 7.4 voltage battery and uh, I have a multimeter and now I will connect this controller to the battery and see if it works. I've already did some preparation here. I've already connected the wires which are easy to connect. You just tighten the screws when you put the wires in for instructions it says you should be careful with the wires that enter the controller. The plus should go with plus, minus with minus. So here you can see plus and minus and we have this red wire, a positive wire. So it goes into the positive socket. It's important if you install it in reverse you will burn the controller. So these are the entering wires which provide power so I added these wires and for now I'll just connect these wires to the battery and these wires that come out they will go to the multimeter and we'll see how the voltage changes when we activate this switch and play with this speed controller now the battery is connected, positive wire with positive wire goes into this controller and we can see the voltage values here, it is uh, in the direct voltage current mode, these wires are connected to the multimeter, now we're gonna put this speed controller to zero position which means it will not be providing any voltage and this switch is in the zero position as well it's turned off now we will turn it on we see nothing and now we'll start moving the switch here the speed switch the speed controller now we heard the clicking sound which means that this controller is activated and we see three volts and now we are increasing the voltage to the maximum point and we have 7 volts now. Now let's reverse the voltage. Turn it off. We have 0 voltage and then we turn it on on the reverse side. And we get another value which is minus 7 voltage. You can see a minus here which means now the voltage has been reversed. So this controller works, now we can continue with installing this controller on the bike. As for the bike, I have a cap here, a decorative cap. My idea was to remove it and make a hole in it. I've already did some preparations, so I made a hole and I can see that I can pass the cables from here to here. And the next thing which I will have to do is just incorporate the controller between the bike's wiring and the battery. So if I have a battery here, the wires coming out from the battery and the wires coming into the bike, I'll just need this controller to reverse the voltage that will go into the bike and also change the intensity of the voltage and uh, that's it so what i will need to do is just to make a few holes here to put the controller inside of here pass the wires in here and connect them let's see how it works now in this cap we've done all the necessary holes this switch just pops in like this and then we'll just insert uh, the second part of the controller, the circuit. I have an O-ring here. And 
and it's fastened to the cap with a nut that comes with the controller. To we tighten it, we put this thing on top and we get this controller on the cap. And the next thing will be to insert this cap into the bike, but I still need to work on the space here to make sure that this circuit gets inside. Now I had to make this hole a little bit bigger so that the circuit gets inside without any problem. And as you can see now I'll have to pass all these wires inside, put this cap back and then connect the battery and the bike's wires together. Now I'm gonna use as usually spade connectors. I'll put them on the wires which will not require any soldering. And after putting corresponding spade connectors on both sides we will start the bike and see if it works. wires go to the battery and the wires should coincide the red should go to the red black should go to the black these ones go to the bike wiring uh, as now we still don't know uh, the polarity of the switch we may connect it now randomly and then may change the polarity depending on how this switch works but we may not do anything but because it may not actually matter uh, it just depends on your preference but anyways you can play with this wires no problem with this if you want to change the polarity of the switch so this doesn't matter but this part matters a lot let's put the switch into a neutral position zero position the circuit will be off and the, now let's connect the battery the red wire should go with the white, red wire and the black wire goes with the black wire now we have battery connected to this controller and this controller is now in charge of the circuit that goes to the bike. Now we'll check if the circuit works correctly. So let's turn on the switch in any direction. Now this switch is in off position. Let's turn it on. We hear the click sound. It's on on the lowest voltage. And now let's turn the handle. nothing is happening and it should not be happening because the voltage is too low for the electrical motor to run now let's increase the voltage and eventually it should run now it's running
but it's not running in the opposite direction which means that there is a kind of a diode in the system that doesn't allow the current flow in a different direction and but to understand that I need to check if this controller works correctly it could be that when we installed it here the connections got broken or something so we need to check that now and let's see what's happening we see that there is voltage when we turn it off no voltage and we turn it on there is voltage so what is happening here is we're having problem with the circuit it's a circuit that was in the bike from the very beginning I will check the circuit now see if there's any diode that doesn't let the current flow in two directions and if there is I'll try to remove it or just remove the whole circuit and uh, rewire this part so after looking at the circuit and uh, checking if there are diodes on the circuit board I saw one diode here and I tried to pass it by it didn't work then I tried to remove it and uh, it looked like the circuit started letting me pass the current in different directions and when I turn it the wheel is turning when I turn it off and switch it on the other side it turns to the in the other direction but I've also noticed another thing that when I use this circuit board the switch even if in off position stays on and the way I notice that is that there is a light inside of the circuit board of the controller and when you turn it off you still see the light on so I will have to rewire this whole thing and remove the circuit from the from the wiring actually this thing is not necessary as I have this uh, controller which has all functions that I need it provides me the functionality to reverse the voltage and to control the speed this one I left not to do too much about wiring but I will now show you what I'm gonna do to improve this wiring I will just remove this unnecessary circuit uh, the manufacturer's circuit and the relay which was important this relay is controlled by the handle and uh, that's why I kept it in the beginning but now I need to rewire it to make sure that when the switch is off there's no voltage going to this from the battery in order to do that we'll just re disconnect the battery first disconnect the controller disconnect the handle this handle controls these two wires which are in the middle we know that from the previous videos but first of all we'll give that away and we'll just connect this controller to the battery and we'll control the bike with this controller to make it logically easier to understand so we cut out this circuit from here Now we have this wire that will control the polarity and the voltage that goes to the electrical motor so we connect these two. Again we'll use the spade connectors. So now I have the spade connectors. Here we don't care about the polarity so we'll just connect them for now. We can adjust later. This is the cable that comes from the handle this goes to the battery now the only thing we need to do is to connect this to the battery and 
and check if it works turn it on and see now it works turn off and turn on and turn on and it moves in the other direction so it moves forward and it moves backwards so now with the, without this handle here without this handle the whole system works now the only thing we need to do now is just to break the line that comes from the battery and incorporate this wire that goes to the handle on one of the cables and usually the positive wire is is used to to insert the switch uh, in theory but I will do it with the negative ones because in real life the electrons flow from negative to positive and in order to avoid tension in the whole circuit I will break the negative wire here so I won't even have to cut this wire I'll just disconnect this part here and we'll incorporate this two cables to both cables accordingly as a result we have these wires that go to the handle so I put the spade connections on them and uh, this is the wires that come from the controller to the electrical motor and these are the cables that come from battery come from battery so we disconnected one cable and we're gonna connect we're gonna connect this to the handle our breaker of the circuit and let's see how it works now it's in the on position and we turn the handle when we turn the handle it should work turn it off here just in case backwards and then turn it on so the kid will be able now to control the electrical water with the switch and we'll play with the switch That's how we do it.